Hello everybody, in this tutorial we're going to have a look at using some some interesting tools in ZBrush to fix our mesh if we have if you want, you know, a sharper edges or something like that or using polygroups. So, I'm just going to import a student um, site, I think it's called. Yeah, and it has these you see triangles and um, when it it has been triangulated so it, it looks a bit wonky. So when you're going to bake the normals, uh, you're going to see all these triangles, right? So the first first thing that we want to do, we want to split this mesh in polygroups. As you can see here, polyframe, it doesn't have anything, uh, different colors. It's just one color. So it's basically only one polyframe. So uh, we need to identify where the polygroups is here. And we need to do this um, group. I think it was group by edges. So let's just have a look. I put 0 0.01 group by edges. Uh, no, it wasn't this one. Group by normals. Can't remember which one. Um, okay, group by normals. But instead, we're just going to drop this um, number. Yeah. So I just group by normals, but I reduce to 15. So right now what it, it did, it tried to find surfaces, you know, flat surfaces that are continuous. So this is what I did now. You see, if I control shift and click on once, you can see it's going to be different polygroups. So all these are different polygroups right now. Great. So that's the first thing, the first step. Um, and tr we need to kind of polish it a little bit because it looks, you know, wavy. So if you get like a bad low poly mesh then when you're going to have it you know divide it um, then we just can um, we're gonna try to fix that right so um, so we, now we have the poly groups the next uh, thing we need to do is is to dynamesh this so we go to geometry and we go to dynamesh and I, I, I enable this clay polish and reduce the blur to zero and that's gonna um, is gonna remove all that I'm gonna increase this resolution okay so now what it it happened this polish it it's gonna keep the sharp edges sharp okay and it's gonna subdivide the mesh so we're gonna have a lot more geometry in these places although we can see we have more geometry in these areas where we had those lines you see them you see the lines here we can shift click to smooth them but i'm not going to do that i'm going to show you an easier way to do that so we just disable dynamesh for now we go to def um not deformation is it deformation yeah so inside deformation there is this polish by feature by default you see there's a is a is a circle but we want the outline of the circle yeah so just click once until we get the outline of the circle so this means it's going to look for features like polygroups so now we have different polygroups and it's going to try to keep those as different yeah so if if i remove this polish and if i put the polish on you see it's going to soften everything all over the place so we don't want that we want to keep all those sharp edges sharp so polish by features and we're going to leave it open like that yeah so just this needs to be inside an empty circle on the inside so now you can see Control z go once back and polish by features you can see now it's gone like all those lines and um weird weird things going on it's going to go away unfortunately we have this bottom bit part uh, which is not very good for us because this mesh should have had this you know bottom bit as a separate piece but w we, we're just gonna have to um, either use shift yeah just to smooth those manually I think that's that's the easiest way to do it quickly yeah and try to fix that um, what I would personally do to this, I would just use Control Shift, use the clip curve, 
uh, clip curve use control shift and um, plus spacebar yeah so just the black part is gonna go away and we're just gonna I'm gonna try to cut this at this angle first then use double alt um, double alt again double alt again so the the gray bit is gonna go out it's gonna disappear so that's kind of like trying to fix this correct um, correct those those problems that we we had there yeah anyway I'm just gonna go back I don't want to you know mess up with the low poly because because whoever sent this to me it has a low poly now so that's that's good now we, we what we need to do is just I think we, we should go and use another dynamish so I'm just gonna try and but this time without polish I'm gonna try without polish see what's happening um, and we get a little bit of edge you know you see there's like broken edges and that and that's good I mean it's not much and we, we you shouldn't expect perfection you know in this world because we don't there's no such thing as a you know perfect thing and and especially this one this one should be something like really rough anyway so just to keep that short um, I'm gonna you know close this video see, see you in the next one